This is a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Actually, I'm sorry, it's a Chevrolet 210. <clears throat> it's a four-door car, and uh, you might kind of call it a barn find. It's been uh, pulled from the barn, and had the fluids changed out of it. Good fresh tires put on it. Cranks right up. Transmission shifts great. It's an automatic. 283 V8. Car steers really good. One of the things I always point out is you can see my hand right here, my finger. How I'm steering it, I'm literally barely touching the steering wheel. So it doesn't have that old car wander like some of them do. Super smooth riding down the road. Brake stop, good. The car steers easily. And really, in right now, the condition of this car, I would say, is it's a good looking driver. Engine sounds good, it's got good power. No smoking or here it's actually got two horns it's got an old the horn there's a button under here and it's got a uh, horn well it was working okay guess it decided not to work anymore it just honked it a couple seconds ago it worked. maybe just a loose wire very clean under the hood there's a little bit of rust on this car, but far, far from a rust bucket. Looks like somebody probably did a restoration on it maybe 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Then um, it didn't get driven a whole lot, got parked, and uh, then got pulled out recently. It's got a single stage paint on it. <clears throat> it's really a uh, low quality paint job. But it looks really good driving down the road. I mean, it's a like I said, it's a driver, so um, it's not a bad looking driver. I mean, you kind of call it what they call it a 20 footer. This is what that is, about a 20 footer. Missing a couple of the emblems. It's missing the, a side emblem on this side. Top looks really good. This would make a great driver, just like it is and then uh, take the time to maybe go through and uh, do some restoration on it. The uh, interior looks like it was restored maybe in the 80s. You can tell from the cloth. Um, it's a little saggy here on the driver's side right here. Looks like somebody put a little duct tape there on the side. Door panels got a little bit of uh, you know weather to them. Some look like mo some mold or something like that there. In fact, it looks like it's wiping off. Maybe it would clean out. Um, there's a crack on the windshield. Looks like they probably cracked it when they were putting a new windshield in, unfortunately, because it looks like the weather stripping in the windshield looked new. Dashboard's nice, unmolested. Looks to be pretty original. Speedometer definitely works. Uh, got an older carpet kit in it. No headliner. All the doors open and close easily. Uh, let me grab the keys so we can look at the trunk. I'd say uh, this is a minim minimum rust car, not rust free, but not a rust bucket. Got a little bit of uh, stuff in here still from the 
Actually, there's a Chevrolet emblem right there that goes on the side. Yep, sure is. I guess that was in the trunk. And, uh, in fact, it looks like we didn't get to... The guys didn't vacuum the truck trunk out before I was taking the pictures here. So, a couple of little rust spots here in the trunk. You can see right there. Uh, a couple of little weak spots there. Maybe even somebody put some fiberglass on that at some point. But overall, the trunk pan looks good around the edges. Looks pretty good. Um, original jack in there. Looks like the bottom of the uh, deck lid here has got a little bit of rust on it. You can try and see that. Uh, just on that one spot right there where my hand is. So the, the rest of it over here looks pretty clean. Body lines on the car are pretty straight. I believe the bottoms of the doors are in good shape except for this one. I found some rust. Let's see, no, this one looks pretty good. One door I found a little bit of rust on the bottom of it. I think it might have been this one. Yeah, there's a some rust, spot of rust right there. Inside the fender wells look really nice. A uh, little bit of floor pan rust with some um, metal put in from above. But where the frame and body connect is still good, rust free there. All the frame rails are rust free. Inner fender well looks rust free here. This is the bottom of the uh, spare tire well underneath. Body to um, frame mounts look good. Inner fenders look good back here. Some original undercoating and dirt, but no rust. Like I said, the floor pans have got some rust in them, but they're not, it's not a Flintstones car. It looks like somebody's actually replaced some um, floor pan metal from up inside. You can see right there, putting that in from the inside. Then down the center of your floor pans looks good. Bottoms of the quarters look good. The car doesn't look like it's got a ton of Bondo in it. Doesn't look like a Bondo bucket. Um, as some people would call them, a Bondo bucket. Original spinner, uh, 57 spinner uh, hubcaps are really nice. It's kind of an, it was an option on the cars. So, well, there you have it. I think here's the thing. From to me, for the money, the car is great. Um, I think it's you know it's hard to find these things running and driving under 10 grand, and I think somebody's going to have a lot of fun with this thing. I mean, I'd I'd honestly jump in this car right now and and run all my errands in it today. It runs great. Um, it steers perfectly straight down the road. It's got good new tires on it. Um, brakes work good. Engine runs strong. Transmission shifts good. We've got it parked in the same spot in the garage right now. It's not leaking any fluids. At least nothing major. You know, a tiny little drop. I noticed one or two tiny little drops of oil or transmission fluid that would be normal for you know this age vehicle but other than that she's uh really ready to go brake lights work headlights work even the horn worked up until i was trying to do the video ah! these things are ah! excuse me these are like uh these are like children sometimes you know that how you tell uh, you can tell your friends your kid can do a backflip and then he goes to do it and lands on his head but anyways uh i think this is a really cool car somebody's gonna have a lot of fun with it